Got a service call on the ice machine not working. I pulled the covers off, but before we get started, the first thing I'm gonna do is fill up this ice cart. So that way if they need ice, they don't bother me while I'm on the ladder. So this is an interesting problem. So, full bin. Look at it, it's not full, and the curtain's staying open. But, see anything wrong there? Look at that. This machine is falling down into the bin. Both of them. And if you step back, look at this. The whole bin top is busted. The machines are staying put, the bin top is moving. What the hell, how that's happening? So that's interesting. So that's why that's happening now. So if I close this, it'll start making ice. But it's because the machine's not sitting level that curtain's in a bind and it's sticking open. So that was a really interesting one. I've actually had that happen before. So they called me out on their ice machines not working. When I got there, the left side ice machine was off on a full bin, but it wasn't full. The curtain was actually binding up or the damper, whatever you want to call it. I think they call it an ice damper. Um, it was binding up. It was out of bind, so it wasn't uh, naturally closing because the way those work is by gravity and weights. They spring shut when there's no ice there to stop it. But it wasn't just a problem with the curtain. The reason why it was binding up was because the machine wasn't sitting level on that bin because it was falling down into the bin. And the reason why it was falling down into the bin was the full at bin top was broken. And it's causing the machines basically to fall down into the bin, which is a trip. I just had this happen on another machine that was only like three years old and Follett ended up actually paying to replace the bin top under warranty. But it's a pain in the butt because to replace that bin top, there's no way at this particular restaurant to lift those machines up. So you have to uninstall the machines completely, set them on the ground, put a new bin top, then reinstall them. So at a minimum, that's what we're gonna have to do here. Uh, we're gonna contact uh, the proper people at facilities and let them know what's going on and they'll have to make decisions on what they wanna do. But it's not always just a plain and simple thing. I mean, sometimes it's really silly things like the bin top breaking. It still kind of baffles me. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have seen that before, but I've been noticing a trend of those full-it plastic bin tops doing that. It's almost like someone is pushing the bin back I know they have an outside cleaning crew that comes in and cleans their ice machines for them. And I almost wonder if they're shifting the bin back and putting pressure on the back of the lines and it's like pushing everything forward. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I'm still trying to figure out how it's happening. Um, usually you can look down at the floor and see where the legs have been and you can usually see that the bin has been moved recently, but this one actually didn't look bad. So I don't know, that's interesting. It's just something I'm noticing on the Fullet bin tops. Now, Fullet also has a more expensive metal bin top. We don't ever have the problems with those, with the metal ones. It's only with the plastic ones, which is just sign of a money saving thing, but interesting.